Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for November 2023. Um, this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. You can have planets in the sign of Sagittarius. Um, you were intuitively guided, or you may be here just checking up on a Sagittarius. You know, I feel like whatever brought you, just be open to receiving messages yourself. Um, because I really read through my spirit guides. The cards are just like a tool um, to, to help, I feel like, ignite my, uh, my intuition. So just make sure your energy is calm and, um, you know, you'll know if something's for you. You'll feel it. All right, I'm going to bring the lid down a little bit. Okay, not too, too much. And we're going to start with Mother Mary. We're going to go ahead and get into this reading. We're using three different decks, by the way. Um, I'm going to use the Psychic Troy for your main spread. And I'm using the... Um, Universal Tarot for Clarifies. For some reason, the last couple readings, they've been coming out. The Clarifiers and... Um, I don't know. I like it. All right. Sagittarius. You know, it's interesting. I'm sitting here, um, like, you know, I pre-shuffle my deck. So when I do that, I'm just kind of opening myself up. And it's interesting because I was just getting this feeling of, like, someone who, I don't know, it's like they have this this pouty face on, like they're pouting about something. I don't know if pouting is the right word. Um, you know, there's something. And um, because I don't feel like I'm crying, you know what I mean? It's almost like I'm pouting about it. So I don't know. That's for someone, but we'll see. Um, Mother Mary sends you enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Whatever I am most passionate about is the direction I flow. For some of you, that's one of your answers. Which way do I go? This is saying this is saying follow what feels passionate to you. Follow that direction. We'll read it from the book at the end. Um, I feel like it's just the cherry at the top. So, all right, let's give the psychic tro a few shuffles, and let's open up the tarot portion. Excuse me. Okay. All right, we have power. This is the strength card. It shouldn't reverse. Um, you know, I, you know, there's just times that I feel like I don't want to read reversals, like. You know, and I make my mind up before I begin a reading and, um, you know, I was a, there was a little bit of uncertainty. So I'm going to put in the upright remembering that it really showed, you know, I kind of knocked in reverse at the same time. Anyway, I find it interesting that it's the number eight because eights have been one of those numbers that have been really following us. Excuse me one second. Just got a second. Um, anyway, eight has been um, everywhere. And I feel like it's getting, it's like, I feel like it's uh, for everyone. Like, get ready for, you know, a new beginning. Uh, 2024 will be Universal Gear 8. So, um, 
you know, it, you know, like I always take notice of this person who is, you know, they're half human, half tiger. And it's to represent like the two sides of yourself. You know, it's like you are the king of your own domain, but you got to know it at the same time. And maybe that's why it's a little in reverse. You know, it's just power. But, um, and you know, it's interesting because I feel like there's one side where it can be like a mighty power. But I do feel like it has to be balanced. Like balance is the name of the game here. Okay. You know, it's interesting because I'm feeling like this is a trait that's been car carried like generational after generation, uh, lifetime after lifetime. It's almost like something that is, you know, it's just part of who you are. And um, I don't know, I get this feeling like, I don't feel it in a negative way, I feel it in a positive way, like, you know... Um, yeah, I'm down here having this human experience, but, you know, I am the wisdom. I am the power of the collective. Okay, let's keep going. Victory and success. So that kind of puts a spotlight on you. And, you know, it's interesting because Strength Card really talks about our, in, our inner demons. You know, um, the things that tempt us into the dark. You know what I mean? Or even our dark nature. And I, I feel like there's times that we need it, but then, in, but, you know, we got to remember the other end of that is light, the other side, light, right? The light and the dark, you know, our own inner demons. Like, it's almost like I can't cast, you know, I can't cast, what's the word I want to use? Like doubt on another if my own inner demons aren't balanced. So that may be something that like I'm working on. I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, and then comes victory and success. So this is climbing. This is like climbing, um, climbing that mountaintop. It's reaching the mountaintop. And it's almost like, you know, I'm letting everyone know. Hmm. Let's keep going. You know, it might be even you like letting that other side of you know, like like I, I claim victory. You know, it's like if I'm t if I'm looking at my, it's reminding me of one of the tarot cards where it's the moon and the light side is looking right at the dark side like they're acknowledging that each is there right but the light side is what's illuminated all right we have balance card of justice balance two cards to speak about balance Interesting. Okay. Hmm. We have emotional loss. Well, that makes sense. So, you know, something, some type of ties were cut. Um, whether I asked for it or I didn't ask for it, I feel like there's some type of emotional eyes are cut you know there's that person's energy i was feeling and the five of cups you know it's a five so it wants change um and the change it's asking you to consider is to ask yourself where your focus is at remember, remember mother mary sent us the energy of enthusiasm that must mean there's something to get enthusiastic enthusiastic about you know, but in the Five of Cups, I'm focusing on what I've lost. And um, that may be what you need to cut ties to, to be honest. Because I feel like when I, when my, 
my focus stays like within the loss within my emotional house, I feel like it also keeps my energy there. And I don't feel like that's where you're meant to be. Like, you know, you're just not that type of person that is meant to sit in this energy for long. But it may be one of those things where, you know, you may have this own realization of like, it's almost like getting pulled to the bad guy, the bad girl. Um, and maybe I'm like hoping for, you know, something. But maybe it's just not there. So anyways, I feel like whatever ties were cut, when you think about it, first of all, it says balance. It's justice. Justice is what's fair, right? What's fair. It doesn't mean that, um, you know, you come out better than. It means fairness. You know, fairness equals balance, I guess. New beginning. Opens the re opens this line, new beginning with an eight, and then change with the five. Some of you could be like missing an actual Libra. You know, but if that's the case in this deck, it, and you know, I feel like the decks choose me, I don't choose them. This deck, this person is an angel. You know, you don't see that that often. At least I don't. Like, I'm really noticing the wings. Maybe I should show you. You know? All right. Patience and planning. Patience and planning. This is the Seven of Pentacles. Interesting because enthusiasm makes me think of something like that's coming my way that, um, well, I do have the energy of victory and success here. You know, I feel like even when we're focused on what we've lost, right? There's still things that we can take from that to help us grow. There may be even like, um, like it's interesting. I just did Scorpios and they had like these little divine sparks that just weren't getting through. And um, I almost feel like the same thing, like, you know, during this period of time that I would not call the greatest time in my life, some of my biggest epiphanies arose, or they will. You know, I feel like I feel like the readings have been talking about like different perspectives. There's different ways to look at the exact same life. You know. Okay. Anyway, truth. Well, there you go. <laughs> you know, it's like it's truth with no blindfolds on. Truth is your spiritual team. Judgment calling you to the present moment. That's what they're doing. Like, whoosh, we need your attention. Because there's a, there's about to be some type of a rebirth. And it's interesting. It sits right next to the Seven of Pentacles, which I feel was your tree of life. You know, and then how I said I felt like this lion, um, half-human uh, person, I feel like, you know, this is not their first trip around. You know what I mean? Like, um, maybe it's something karmic, like, you know, like I'm going through something and it's like ultimately when I can see that, right, when I'm truthful, um, and I feel like it's more about myself because this is about self. Now, of course, it can talk about like previous previous emotional losses. Uh, but nonetheless, I feel like this is talking about what is now. You know, um, it's interesting. I'm noticing at seven, there's that seven going into an eight, universal seven right now, universal eight coming up very soon. Judgment says there's about to be a rebirth. Judgment's connected to victory. All right, well, let's keep going. 
You know, it's funny because when I when in this reading began and I saw that out, it's almost like I wanted to like like it was like a niece or something, and I wanted to just squeeze her cheeks and be like, "Come on, like get rid of that pout." You know what I mean? Because I felt like even though the pout was about like something that this this child wanted. It's same breath, I feel like, like they were making a bigger deal. Hmm, I don't know how to say it. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Four of Swords. Healing. You know, that's nice. We'll take it. You know, I feel like any time, I mean, it says rest and rejuvenation. This person's out, you know, becoming grounded. I feel like they're humble. Um, their hands are open to what's new. This person's hands are closed, by the way, in the five of cups, right? Like, my hands are over my heart. Like, like you know, but it's interesting because the flow of the energy is interesting because it may talk about like even that flow right of emotional loss is what flows out into the like out into the atmosphere and therefore it's almost like creating part of the fabric you know that will become the fabric of time hmm You know, it's interesting also the sun is behind this person. And I feel like they got to turn around. And, you know, the four swords is that, you know, I, I feel like, first of all, there's been some type of cutting of ties. And I feel like that's what's created everything. You know, something may have felt unfair. And that's really what's creating everything. However, I feel like, you know, our energy is being like, uh, almost like our spirit guides are being a little bit more forceful. Like, you know, enough of that. This is about now, right now, right? And maybe even looking at yourself in the ways that you've grown, except you know, instead of what you have lost, like, how have you grown from that? You know, that is also being written in the fabric of time. I feel like that's a story I'd rather have out there. So anyways, I feel like, so the rebirth, part of it is healing, right? It's, you know, healing over what you may ever thought was unfair or unjust. Um, but it's the healing of the mind. And I feel like, Man, when you heal the mind, the, the, like, the rest will fall out. I almost feel like this person almost feels like, almost like they're at the end of their rope and, you know, like, I'm going to try one last thing, and that is to go outside, sit amongst the trees, and just open up my energy, ask in the universe, maybe for healing. And listen, I feel like it's being heard. Not only being heard, but what's behind judgment? The seven of pentacles, your soul seed of intentions. You know, I feel like each one of those seeds are something that your soul wanted to experience in this lifetime. It's something Sometimes that that's where we get hung up on. Like maybe our soul wanted to see, you know, wanted to see if it could expand how I overcome certain loss. And maybe it's not the first lifetime. Maybe it's something that's followed me. And each time I feel like, you know, I want to use the word failed, but I feel like that's because you would use that word failed. I feel like it's just, it's another chance to get it right. You know, I feel this big spiritual hug. This is what I'm feeling in the Four of Swords. Like, 
it's just not about like killing the mind, right? And yes, I do feel like you have to be somewhat humbled. And, and the experience itself may have humbled you. But I feel like it's like if you're open, um, if you're open, I feel like it's like your spiritual team is just giving you this spiritual hug. All right, we got a lot of cards. We have the tower. Okay, well, that makes sense coming under emotional loss. So something that felt destructive. Power is something that is a lot of times out of your control. You know, I don't feel like the five of cups is energy that's in our control. I feel like the loss is not something we ask for so much. I'm saying so much, but I mean, first of all, the four swords next to the tower, that's great. Because if I had any doubt what this healing is for, it is the towers, right? And maybe it's, to, if you can, like, even open your mind to, like, you know, um, like your guides and your angels being right there alongside of you because I feel like victory and I feel like this is you claiming victory over something that may have gone on for, you know, and had the potential of going on for eternity, but it doesn't feel like a good thing. All right. We have the nine of cups, nine of cups following the tower first of all it could certainly talk about where that loss was you know it was in the ten of cups i thought i had the ten of cups and then instead i got the tower you know again it's not anything i asked for but healing comes out from your spiritual team over what the tower so when that when that healing takes place the nine of cups would make perfect sense because this is about inner harmony. And I do feel like it's an independent energy. So I do feel like potentially I've gone from the Ten of Cups. But, you know, here I am in the Nine of Cups. It's not bad energy. That's good energy. And maybe that's what I'm learning. You know, maybe that's where I find myself. And my creativity is in this energy where, you know, it's like I'm running my own life. This deck calls it fulfillment of wishes. So who might argue with that? Hmm. We have the four of cups, discontentment and boredom. So, you know, I almost feel like there is something about my life that I didn't like anyway. So this is not for everyone, but for some of you, and I feel like you'll know who you are. Like, I, 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 would, I didn't like my life anyway. And yet, then when the tower happened, okay, well, I didn't like my life. So the tower comes in, and but again, it doesn't mean that you were saying, and I'm ready to change. It's just that you're in that energy of like being discontent with your life. Well, your spiritual team is, you know, I don't feel like, um, again, it's not your natural energy. Like, I don't feel like you would sit in that energy long. But nonetheless, I do feel this person is sitting in it. And that's, again, why your spiritual team is being so strong. Almost like, again, reminding you, you of your, you know, your lion self, king of the jungle. King of his domain. Hmm. We have the Eight of Swords. Dang, Sagittarius. We have Memories of Love. How interesting. Not interesting. Some of you, it's like, okay, right off the bat, I get it. We have hmm, Deception and Envy. And then interesting that we have the wheel that follows that. 
Ha. Huh. So. You know, for some of you, maybe you've been sitting in this life or, you know, in, in this life, you know, again, it's like, I have the Ten of Cups, but do I really have the Ten of Cups? Because I feel like there's a lot of discontentment in there anyways. And I feel like, um, I don't know, Seven of Swords is deception and envy. Um, you know, this is someone who takes more than they need. But I have to tell you, like, I can feel the, I can feel like, why? Like, I feel like there wasn't enough to go around when they were younger. And now, it's just like, I hate. Because I almost feel like that's their lesson. You know, that's their lesson upon the wheel. And for some of you, I feel like you came across them, you know, in the midst of that lesson. <laughs> Man, you know, maybe your spiritual team knew and they threw out that tower. And even though that tower, like, you know, caused disruption, it's also causing healing. And I feel like freeing your mind, I keep feeling that energy. Well, at the Eight of Swords, that is the energy of a self created prison. And then the Seven of Swords. So, you know, someone's deception, someone's, you know, unfairness in their actions, however they may be, landed within your thought system. And that left you in this energy of discontentment. You know, it's almost like the world may see as as, as the Ten of Cups, but that wasn't the way it was. Hmm, interesting. You know, and then I see this Six of Cups here. And I'm not sure it's even tied to any of this. Like, this could be something that's different. Because the wheel is here. It's almost like, you know... Mother Mary is saying you have some um, enthusiasm. That's the energy you want to take on. You have the energy of victory. You have your spiritual team that is like very here, you know, like very here. You have that. It's like you find balance. You found yourself. And I feel like, you know, if there are lessons to be learned, it's like this is your opportunity to learn them, not just for now, but. For eternity. You know, that's pretty major. Now, when you're in it, you have a whole different perspective. And that's what I'm talking about. When you have overcome it, now you have a different perspective. Because you have that, mm, I don't know, I'm not, okay, I'm not going to say anything. Obstacles and challenges and five change. Ace of Swords underneath that. Interesting. Well, I mean, someone could have just literally cut off communication. And, you know, that sucks. But, in a way, I feel like if someone just cut off communication just like that, then, you know, maybe if I look at it like, you know, who the hell are they? You know what I mean? Like, like if you can't love me, because I feel like if you can love yourself, like in the Nine of Cups, this is where this is where you're like looking at things, you know, in a cheerful way. You know, maybe you've been like putting away and putting away and now you can have that Nine of Cups, you know, it's almost like my own home. And then I feel like from that energy, you just never know what's going to happen. You know, because I feel like the Six of Cups sits outside of this reading, if that makes sense. So 
itself, that tower, the disruption, the darkness, all that. But then the healing, the overcoming, the newness, right? New, the eight, new beginning, judgment, present moment, nine of cups, fulfillment of wishes. This is after the tower, by the way. You know, but could my past affect my future? Absolutely. If I don't, I don't want to say break it down because I feel like I don't need to break it down as much as I think I need to break it down. Because one thing I feel like for those who like where someone just cut off communication, boom. I feel like there's your answer. Because you're worth so much more than that. And if they can't see that, it's their loss, not your loss. It may be your gain. But, you know, you love who you love. Obstacles and challenges. Interesting, because I'm seeing, like, you know, this house, and I'm seeing it in, in like, two different ways. All right. Let's get right into it. Let's go deeper. And um, bring in the Universal Tarot, which again is not a deck that this is the second time I've used it as a clarifier, to be honest. Um, it's usually a main spread. <clears throat> you know, one of the main decks. But I just love the messages that have been coming out of it. So I thought, well, I want to use it in some way. So that's how I'm using it. Let's give them a cut. You know, and it's interesting because I see this wheel over here that's attached to the Seven of Swords, and it's like, I gotta be careful who, you know, I'm taking like on my wheel. You know what I mean? Like like if someone's like being deception, deceptive or envious, envious and causing problems in your life. Or you can't count on, they're not calling you. You know, they got to go away. Because you, this wheel, you want what's new, right? What's victorious. You want success. I feel like these, I feel like epiphanies that maybe you've even had in the dark. Maybe now you're bringing them to light. Some of you, it's like a new home. Listen, it may not even be a great new home, but it's your new home. And that holds a lot of power. Funny, then I just see the word power. And who knows, for some of you, maybe you've literally moved back home. And that may be where the Six of Cups comes in. Someone that I used to know. Someone that I would have happy memories about. Again, I'm reminded Mother Mary, I keep saying it, um, but enthusiasm. Feels like that's the name of the game. All right. I almost want to start at the end. But. We have the Six of Cups. Interesting. So now we have the Six of Cups over the first position. We also have the Six of Cups down here. So they're kind of mirroring each other. You know, maybe like it's going to be talking about an old love affair that um, where each, like if we're looking at, let's just say spiritual lessons or soul, you know, or letting our souls evolve, it may be like two, doesn't mean there wasn't love, but what it means is two may have two different journeys to, to like battle, like their own darkness, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I had to go this way and this, and you may not even know that, you know what I mean? But I mean, I feel from like a spiritual level.
we have the Hermit, Card of Virgo, looking over at that Six of Cups. And then look at this, we have the Four of Cups, right over Justice, Balance. I don't know what is going on here, but I feel like, for some reason, I feel sad about something that Like, if, if I can make it here, I'll make it anywhere. Anyway, I don't know where that came from. Um, man, I just feel like someone's stuck. Um... But that's an illusion that they're stuck because in the eight, because what's mirroring this energy is the eight of swords, you know, self-created prison. The other eight in the board is power. Kind of the opposite type energy. So I may have the illusion that I'm stuck, right? That I'm, that my life is always going to be discontent, that I can't be or have, you know, listen, you know, I, I use my life as a perfect, perfect example of, you never know what's going to happen, because I'm, you know, in my late 50s, like, you know, is when Sam reached out, my first boyfriend, you know, many years have gone by, and now I live, we live together, so you just never know, did I ever think that was going to happen now? And, you know, there's other things in my life that, uh, but, you know, I feel like ultimately everything leads to the right moment. Hmm. You know, and I feel like I need to add in, like, let's say I made the decision because like, we were in different states to never move. Would I have been okay? And I feel like, yes, it would have just been a different path. You know, it would have been a different path and potentially with a different person. Um, I'm glad it worked out the way it worked out. Don't get me wrong. All right. Let's keep going. We have the chariot coming over the five of cups. Um, heart of Cancer. This is the year of the chariot, by the way. Chariot is a movement. You know, the chariot shows when there is ultimately balance is being found or is found. Because otherwise it's interesting because I feel like there's a key that goes in there. And I saw, re I did a reading yesterday and um, I pointed out that someone had a key. I think it was a man had a key around his neck. And I'll be damned if not, like, you know, a couple hours later, we're watching. I don't even know what we were watching. And I said to Sam, I'm like, oh, my God, look, that guy's got a key around his neck. And he's looking at me like, yeah. And I, you know, I see that all the time, like in my readings. I see it in my reading, and then I'll see something that night. I don't know why I'm saying that. Mm. We have the High Priestess, your intuition. And we have the Moon. The Moon over justice, over truth, not justice, I'm sorry, judgment. Sometimes you just never know why certain people act the way they act and Sometimes maybe we'll never know. Um, but I feel like in the long run, if that's the case, like that's because there's bigger and better. It's interesting because the moon um, can speak about, it's interesting, we have two energies that are very comfortable in the dark, the hermit and the moon.
But then the high priest is here. Interesting. I almost feel like it's saying I can see in the light and I can see in the dark. All right, I want to keep going there. Um, Carter Pisces, by the way, ruler of cancer. So double cancer. Eight of Cups. Interesting, because coming over the Four of Swords, the healing time, rest and rejuvenation, Eight of Cups. You know, that's a good energy to have. Another eight, by the way. Um, because this is when, you know, I'm going to look in my emotional house. Four of Cups is right above it. You know, and this person's not staying in the Eight of Cups. They're going to they're gonna look at the cups that have been knocked over, understand what they can about them. And, you know, not all the cups need to be looked at it because I feel like this person is emerging out of it now. Eight, a new beginning. And we already have the nine down here. Discontentment or I take a good hard look at it and make a decision. And I feel like, you know, it's sitting at a rest and rejuvenation. This person is doing nothing, um, you know, but sitting here. But maybe, you know, that's it's healing of the emotional house also. Um, but again, I don't feel like I'm meant to stay. I feel like it's time. Like there's something new that wants to begin. And it's and I need to be like, you know, I need to finish up what I need to finish up so I can... Be open to what's what's next. Let's not forget the moon's also very dreamy type energy. And we do have the wheel here. We have the three of cups. You know, for some I feel like it's almost like a celebration of a divorce. Maybe even a celebration over, you know, whatever the tower may have been. Maybe it's you have overcome certain obstacles or challenges. And, you know, I feel like this is the energy of joy, by the way. Chariot above it. So I feel like a chariot's moving us out of the five of cups. That's a good thing. And then the three cups below that, well, that's something to celebrate. Mother Mary is saying get, have enthusiasm. Hmm, look at this, the Knight of Cups. Coming over the Nine of Cups, interesting. It's like just when I learn to, you know, love to be by myself. You know, I'm being pulled back to the hermit because I feel like I like I don't want to like skip over the hermit because I feel like in the hermit's energy, like this is what leads to ultimate success for yourself. And I feel like that is the wisdom that you've gained, right? The light that you've gained. And I feel like it was through the darkness. You know, I feel like the hermit is the wise old one. And maybe it's even connecting to that energy. Interesting, the hermit is illuminating the six of cups, though. Six of cups here. Knight of cups now. Unexpected couple fulfillment. Hmm. Okay. Dang it. Nine of swords. Five of Wands. You know, it's almost like I'm saying to this cup, I'm going to have to say no because ultimately I know it'll just end up. It, You know, it must be, let's put it a different way. Let's say I'm in the Five of Cups. I'm still focusing on like maybe someone who hasn't reached out, right? But maybe this other cup comes towards me and I automatically feel like I put all the energy upon this cup of... 
already know how it's going to turn out, right? I'm going to be the one who is always wondering and worrying. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of fighting and this and that. And I feel like that's why the Eight of Cups needs to be looked at. Because I don't want to put that energy on this cup. You have no clue what this cup holds. And, you know, I also feel like sometimes I got to stop thinking about the destination. Where will this end up? And I've got to start enjoying each and every moment. You know what I mean? Again, you don't know what is yet to be. You just don't know. And I know that. And then the Knight of Cups saying an unexpected cup of fulfillment. And the High Priestess right about that. Oh, well, that's your intuition. I feel like there's a seed that's coming to fruition. And it's coming through the Knight of Cups. So, you know, all of a sudden I feel like I started scolding you. And I don't mean that. But I feel like the nine and the five here, like, ah, I almost wish they weren't here. But they are. You know, we want to learn to judge, you know, let's just say a relationship um, by the way it makes us feel, not by like fear, not by past relationships, right? We want to start it fresh and new, you know, and I feel like if like if we take it slow, um, people will reveal themselves, right? If there is someone who is deceptive. You'll know that. Why? Because you had the wisdom of it now. The wisdom. Let the pain go. Look at this. The full. Well, everything I just said, right? You know, the full's taking a chance. Taking a leap of faith. Full's looking up at the Eight of Cups like, did you not do this emotional work? Because it doesn't feel like you did it here. You know, and sometimes we feel like we've done this emotional work and then boom, something unexpected like, but it's a good thing. But it can still scare the hell out of us. Fool is like, you know, well, looking up that eight, full, zero, right? Eight, infinity, both of them. And then we have the page of wands coming over to six of cups. This could be you at a younger age, taking on the fool's energy. Interesting because this page is facing this night. And I feel like this night is coming up on the fool. Almost like, you know, I'm going to come over and introduce myself to the fool. Fool's just walking along. This is one of those either or type of readings, right? Either I am going to, you know, I don't know, take my power back, let's say. You know, if I'm discontent, I'm going to do something about it, even if it's something little. You know, little steps turn into, what's that saying? Big results. You know, it all starts with one little step. All right. I feel like I just want to go across to your reading. You know, I almost kind of want to follow it, though. Like, from this Nine of Cups with this, this Knight of Cups coming in. I kind of want to follow that. And I want to put the element of, like, you're not resisting it. We have the Three of Swords, and then we have the Ace of Swords. Interesting. You know, you may receive this cup or communication. Again, um, you may not be in, you know, top form, let's just say. And, you know, the Knight of Swords. 
in the eight of wands interesting two energies are moving very quickly ace of swords in between them you know i almost feel like the ace of swords is you drawing a line in the sand you know like okay i'm gonna go ahead and consider this but let's slow it down Six of Pentacles. Hmm. I was going to say six and six, but that's not true. Some of you, you're just learning a lesson that, you know, maybe you give and you give and you give. And you just got to ask yourself, like, you know, am I receiving anything in return? And um, I feel like that's more in relationships. You know what I mean? But it can be life, too. You know, and I don't always have to do something and expect a return. Um, but, you know, if, you know, if it's something, I don't know, work related, let's say, and I put the effort in, then I do expect that return. If it's a relationship and I put the effort in, then I do expect that return. The world. Interesting. Upside down. New beginning. Next portal. You know, this may be ultimately down here who you live your life with. Maybe who you really do create the Ten of Pentacles with or the Ten of Cups with. Maybe the Ten of Pentacles too. It's funny because I feel like, you know, who's ever moving towards you, um, I feel like they're doing it, you know, um, quickly. And um, I don't necessarily feel it's a bad thing, but I feel like in a way, like, don't, don't feel bad if you need to say, hey, let's just slow down. I'm not saying no. You know what I mean? Um, Hmm. So I want to take one more on top. Eight of Pentacles. Another eight. Look at that. Eighty-eight. And then the wheel. Eight of Pentacles talks about um, whatever you focus on is what you're going to grow. You know, if you're focused on a creative outlet, you know, creative you know, money or what have you, um, you can grow it, but you got to focus on it. You know, it's not magic. Like if you focus, it's going to grow. Um, I feel like Eight of Pentacles talks about the willingness to be the apprentice. You know, I don't need to know all that is there is to know. And I feel like maybe, maybe again, like, you know, on a spiritual level, maybe you do. Um, and I want to say, you know, it's not about all of our life being like about our pentacles. It's also about love because this Knight of Cups is speaking of love. Ten of Swords. Interesting. Strength card. Four of Pentacles. You know, I have to say, in no way do I feel like these swords that I'm seeing, do I feel that they're real. Um, it doesn't mean they didn't happen. Don't get me wrong. But I don't feel like they belong to this knight over here. And then the strength card following that. You know, I feel like that's what I got to look at. Like, what energy am I moving forward with? Like, what am I allowing to be on this wheel, this next portal? Past energy or new? You know, when I say new, it doesn't always mean it can't be someone I already know. 
It just means it's going to be a new experience. And listen, I feel like if someone's coming back that, you know, has created the Ten of Swords in you, well, you already know the answer to that. Ten of Cups, like that. Ten of Cups replacing the Ten of Swords. You know, there is that Ten of Cups. And maybe there really is the Ten of Cups, right? Maybe there is really the Ten of Cups or wherever here. Like, it's almost like I felt like, you know, the world saw us as the Ten of Cups, but like, if you look deep in our house and like, you start to see the cracks. You know, but I feel like this is more about you than anything in your journey. And um, it all starts with you taking the first step. You know, and then I feel like, because uh, I feel like you're going to be guided, no doubt. I feel like there's going to come a day that you're going to celebrate the tower instead of like allowing it to be like any more than any more of your life, you know, like allowing it to take any more of your thoughts, your time, you know, um, it's like you're saying adios. Some of you, you know, you are becoming single and you, or maybe you have been single, you know, and maybe now here's this Knight of Cups, right? Coming right over the Nine of Cups. It's like finding inner harmony and then look what shows up. Yeah. This Knight carrying a cup. You know, maybe this really is the Ten of Pentacles. And maybe life isn't about, like, just easy, like, I should just have the Ten of Pentacles. You know, maybe all this in between is, is how your soul has grown. Maybe that's what it's all been about, because power, strength opened up this reading. You know, finding your own strength, power, battling your own demons, right? Like, bringing yourself to balance. Being honest with yourself, you know, and, um, you know, because I feel like a lot of this energy doesn't feel like you. And this energy kind of does. This feels like a new love affair starting, whether it's be someone I already know. <clears throat> now, this would be, again, I feel like um, would put me in a very different kind of mood than here. You know what I mean? Like, I can feel, like, the adventures and the love and the... I can feel it. You know what I mean? Maybe it doesn't have to move so quickly. You know, but here's the wheel down here also. The wheel over here. I feel like all of this is part of your wheel. Okay, I feel like now I'm over talking. Let's read Mother Mary. Enthusiasm. Your questions about what to focus upon is answered by examining where your natural interests lie. What do you enjoy doing? What issues stir your soul? Where would you like, like to make a positive difference? These are your passions. And your enthusiasm gives, gives you the energy and motivation to take courageous action. Enthusiasm is positively contagious and helps others feel excited and happy. Mother Mary urges you to shine your light brightly. Let those around you know that your let, let those around you know about your dreams, goals, hopes, and aspirations. Smile, share your feelings, and be authentic and accessible so the heavens and others so that heaven and other people can join in your enthusiasm. Well, amen. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. I feel like it's just a long reading, um, but I feel like it's just what it needed to be. So anyways, very deep. Um, 
And again, I can feel the different perspectives. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe you need to watch it at different times. And uh, maybe you'll see it from different angles. I don't know. You'll let me know. Let me know through your comments. I'd be very interested in hearing. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything you got, you do for my channel. Everything, truly. Um, much gratitude. And I will see you guys next time at our table. Bye-bye.